Mama yeah. has virgin hair. Yeah. Because we're virgins, right, Ma? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we got another vlog for you guys. You guys are going to be seeing some behind the scenes of Mel's birthday and Mama's birthday. Their birthdays are only one day apart, so this is just kind of like a compilation vlog over the past week. Before we get into today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, which is Shein. You guys know I've been working with Shein for such a long time now, and right now they're having their biggest sale of the year. They're having their Black Friday sale where you guys can get up to 85% off. And on top of that, you guys can use my code TNAS to get another 15% off the entire Shein site. So right now they're having amazing deals on there, and I went ahead and shopped the sale, and guys, I got some fire pieces. Like you would have no idea how affordable I got some of these items because the quality is just so, so good. So I'm gonna have everything I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video linked down below so let's just get right into it again don't forget to use my code when you guys shop and another thing that i love about shein is that you can get free standard shipping on orders of 49 dollars or more and you guys can also have up to 45 days to return any items that don't work out so this first outfit that i'm wearing right here is from shein and you guys know i love brown if i could live in one color for the rest of my life it would be this color of brown but it is this spaghetti strap dress with this shrug on top and this dress and this shrug come in a bunch of different colors this isn't like a matte set i paired it together but it does come in a bunch of different colors so you could do this with like the black dress with the black shrug or like the white dress with the cream shrug and then also to pair with it i got these mules you guys know i live for mules these are so so cute they're like this brown what is a snake skin yeah brown snake skin this next outfit i put together i'm obsessed with so the top that you guys are going to be seeing actually came in a set but this is the top. This is mainly what I got this set for. I really wanted this top. So you guys know I live for off the shoulder. Anything off the shoulder, like I need it. So this black one was super, super cute. The only thing is I got it in a large. I really wish I got it in a medium. So I might exchange it for a medium or even a small. This actually ran pretty big. So, and because I didn't wear a bra with it, I feel like it needs to be a little tighter just to like hold me up. Here are the pants that come with it. Just a pair of biker shorts. And the quality is so nice and thick. All the biker shorts that I have are super through but these right here are ribbed by the way this set is from the Shein SXY line I'm sure it stands for like sexy but this collection from Shein I'm obsessed with it's really figure flattering pieces so especially from the curvy side I really like that line from Shein and I paired it with these jeans if you guys watched not my last video but the video before that I told you guys how I was on the hunt for the perfect pair of like wide leg light wash denim jeans and I found them these, the color is so beautiful. I love this wash of blue. And then the length is perfect on me. I'm 5'7", and these are literally the perfect length with my mules. And I got these in a size extra large, and they fit me everywhere except for the waist, but I'm used to getting my waist taken in with it, so that's not a problem. But I really like the material of these jeans as well because I hate jeans that feel super stiff and constricting. And these are also from the Shein Sexy line as well. So if I could recommend one pair of pants from Shein, I've ordered a bunch of pants from Shein, you guys, and these are definitely my favorite that I've ever gotten like again the length the wash the fit like the material beautiful and then I paired it with this leather trench and you guys from this whole haul this is definitely my favorite item that I picked up I got this in a size large by the way I love the finish of this leather it's not super shiny and plasticky looking like it's the perfect leather trench and again guys i this is my favorite item from this whole haul if you guys are going to get one thing i recommend this leather trench i could pair it with so many different outfits this fall and winter you guys know i'm all for matching sets it's just so easy you have your pants you have your top you just got to accessorize and you're good to go and this one right here i'm obsessed with it you guys it's it's giving sophisticated lady like i love how classy and sophisticated this set looks it came in a few different colors and i was going back and forth whether to get like black in this or nude but i'm happy i got the nude because i just feel like i just wear black so much and this one just looks really nice in this nude color so it is this top right here and i love this hemline um i feel like if it was just straight down and it didn't have this cut it would look kind of like frumpy on me since i am curvy so the fact that it has this just gives it a really really flattering cut matching pants and i love this detail at the bottom of the pants adding a slit on both the sides so you can see your heels peek out and add some movement to the pants as well then i picked up this other set and it is so cute you guys it is this gray dress and cardigan combo so here is the dress again this came in a bunch of different colors and i was going back and forth and i'm glad i went with this one it's really pretty in real life so it is this long gray dress 
And then with it, you just pair it with this cardigan top. And again, I like that it gives you some more coverage at the top. I was able to wear just like my regular bra with this dress since it is spaghetti strap and then put this on top because obviously it's like covering it. So I really like these two together. And I got this in a size medium, I believe, because it is very stretchy. This sweater right here is another must have on my list. I actually have this in two different colors. So this right here is like a dark gray. I also have this in black and I wore it on Mel's birthday, which you guys will see later on on this vlog. But I'll also put a picture on the screen so you guys can see it. But this sweater, you guys, amazing quality. It's nice and thick. I'm really happy I got it in both colors. I love this color so much. I believe I got this in a size medium. Yes, this is in a size medium, and I'm really glad I went with a medium. I think a large would be a little too oversized. So I forgot to show this dress when I was doing the sit down portion, but I knew I could not leave it out because I am so obsessed with it. It is so figure flattering. It's so sophisticated, yet still sexy at the same time. I love that little opening in the back and it just looks so good on. So I got this one in a size medium and I love it so much. I have this link down below for you guys. Last but not least, I got this gorgeous scarf from Shein. This is from their Motive line, M-O-T-F. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, here, here's the line from Shein. But I love these pieces from this line. They're super elevated. So this scarf right here, you guys can see at the bottom, has this beautiful detailing. So hold on, let me put this on for you guys. So here is the scarf i love how big and chunky it is so those are all the pieces i picked up from shein again i'll have everything linked down below for you guys i think out of all the shein hauls i've ever done i think this one is my favorite like so many things that i got are like my new favorite clothing items so make sure you guys check out the links down below and also again don't forget to use my code to get an additional 15 percent off the entire shein site so without further ado let's get into the rest of this vlog so you guys know baba makes me oatmeal every morning because he is the king of oatmeal you know baba people are asking for your recipe they want to know how you make it so so creamy very easy very easy but you know i said yeah, that look, look at mama's easy. face look at mama's this is face my recipe. yes mom was I like show him. i taught him how to make this oatmeal yeah. <laughs> but yeah you do it, you cannot eat it. really so we'll do a little instagram story of how baba makes his oatmeal Good. but he adds cinnamon to he adds me a letter every single day well he makes this for me and mel that's why it's so much but he adds a letter every day today is n for nazanine of course but I eat oatmeal every single morning for um, breast milk. Happy wife. Nah, happy wife, happy life. Happy no, no, no. I want to tell my, now I, I, okay. I want to say my word. What? Happy husband, no, good husband, happy wife. Uh-huh. Yeah. If husband is good, wife is happy. Yeah. Uh, see? So Baba makes me these fried dates. You guys have seen these a ton before too. And he claims this is why I even have any ounce of breast milk. He says it's because of the dates he makes me every single morning. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast real quick before I feed the babies. See, look at this creamy oatmeal, you guys. So good. Daddy's signature. Daddy's yes. signature. Don't make Mama get mad at you. My signature. My signature. You got the, you got the credit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, this no, is no. Mama's. Mommy, teach me. But I'm good this no, Ali, Ali. No, no, mommy teach me. Be, be, be honest. Uh, oh my who goodness. Teach you? Uh, what I do, what I say now. Yeah. I say, mommy, yeah. teach me, but I am Before good this student. Mommy, they cannot. They put it in the microwave. You yeah, listen? for first. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. I just want to eat my oatmeal. And not I did it first. Really? And I eat it. No, I did it first. Hello guys, I just picked up KK from school. So you guys know, usually Mel picks him up from school, but Mel is currently at a hair appointment because it's his birthday tomorrow. So I just went ahead and picked him up so Mel can take his time. So mommy picks you up? Yeah. You guys already know, the second I put him in the car, he was like, mommy, let's go to Target. I'm like, Vaughn, at this point we're going to live at Target. Wow, yeah. mama. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we have, to start, we have to start filming more of their food because okay. last time somebody DM me like, do they cook anything else? <laughs> I was like, I just take a picture when he makes kebab. They cook all the time. That is true. Okay, Mel. You know. I think the inspo was from Big Sean. Found a picture on Pinterest. But... Looks good, babe. You look very handsome. Aww, my, birthday my birthday boy. My birthday boy. I going to bite your finger. You said that when she picked you up? <laughs> yeah. 
Desiree, first of all. Yeah, they did, they did, they did. Or melt some butter. So, Mel is turning 27 tomorrow. And yes. Baba was like, oh, when yeah. I was turning 27, that's when we moved to Romania. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, Baba, I can't even fathom you being 27. Can you guys imagine Baba being 27? <laughs> and you think your daddy, you burn uh, the old guy, huh? Yeah. With like, Baba's like Benjamin Button. Like, he was born like this, like an old man. A wise soul. No. No. KK, how old is you do? Uh, Jeddu, how old? 42. 42? 42? Yeah. I, oh, I love you, Bobo. And Emmy? Emmy, 32. Emmy, 32. Emmy, how old? 32. 32. 32. Emmy, 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 Yo, babies. She cried once in her whole life and Baba won't let her go. So I breastfed both of them and I feel like I didn't have enough milk left. And she was still hungry, so she just kept on crying. So then we gave her a bottle and now she's she's chilling. As you guys can see, we devoured the kebab. So someone actually DM'd Mel and said, do your parents ever cook anything else because you only post the kebab? And they do. Like just last night, my mom made this like rice dish. What What is it called? It was just something put together. Yeah, just something she like puts together, like shredded chicken and rice. It was really good. I had tadik at the bottom. But yeah, it was like tachin a little bit, like a rice like cake with uh, tadik on top. And you know, it never occurred to me, like we don't really post the other stuff. I think it's just because the kebab looks so pretty, like with all the colors and the peppers. It's like... You know, we're like, ooh, let's post it. But we gotta start posting more of your meals, mom, so people know you have variety. While the babies are still napping, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen. And I still have to finish unpacking my bag upstairs. It's not even my bag, that's the issue. While we were gone, I got a lot of stuff in PR, so I need to like hang all that stuff up and figure out where I wanna put all that stuff. Ooh, just got like, yeah, I ate a lot. I got a lot of indigestion. Guys, I love getting PR. Literally, I'm so thankful for it. But it's just finding a space for everything. It's just like, where do we put it? That's why I wish I had a basement, just so I can have like an extra storage Mom space. In Ohio. Mom in Ohio, you have basement. Big best basement. Never. Just kidding. Never say never. <laughs> Go mow the lawn? Yep. Fun fact, Mel is allergic to grass, so he has to take medicine. What is going on out there? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. of that? <laughs> Y'all, instead of Mon just being like, my car got stuck, like he had to be dramatic. I was trying to tell him, you can't come over here, your car will get stuck. The fact that the babies are still sleeping, I'm shocked. I did not think they would sleep this long. I don't want to jinx it, but if they could do that every single day, that would be amazing. But I am just about to take advantage of that time and put away some of these clothes. These are all the clothes that I got on PR throughout the past week. It's like it all came at once, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all away. I still have my suitcase I need to unpack over there. I have it like halfway unpacked. I mean, we're only there for three days, so I don't have like that much stuff to put away. But I'm gonna listen to my audiobook. So currently I'm listening to, I'm currently listening to a court of, what is this? I was gonna say a court of a thousand roses. A court of throne, thorns, a court of thorns and roses. Why is that such a tongue twister? But yeah, I'm listening to this one and it's definitely, I don't wanna say out of my comfort zone, but it's not really something I typically go for it's a like an adult fantasy book like it has like fairies and stuff like that i typically don't go for books like that but it has such amazing reviews so i'm like you know what i gotta give it a chance it's not bad right now but i think if i was physically reading it in a book i wouldn't have you know gotten this far but because i'm listening to it it's a little better so i'm gonna go ahead and listen to that and put away these clothes so the twinnies just woke up kai woke up first so i fed him and now i am feeding Arya. 
and guys i miss them so so much you don't understand like so they took a three hour nap they slept from 3 to 6 p.m which was so so good they usually take a good nap at this time of day but usually it's like two hours and it's like the fact that they both slept together like as a twin parent you know what i'm talking about like when they start getting on that same schedule it is so nice but yeah, I'm just feeding them. And guys, I think today was like the most I've like actually breastfed them in a day. You guys know I like to pump and bottle feed. But I think I'm liking breastfeeding more, to be honest. It's just so much easier. I think after pumping on my trip, I mean, I don't want to say it's easier. Because I like the convenience of having the option for someone else to give a bottle. But since we have the milk in the fridge from New York, you know, you guys saw I like pumped on my trip. I know like if I couldn't breastfeed them, like you know, someone else, like, Mal could give them a bottle, or my mom, or my dad, or whatever, but I like really liking just, like, breastfeeding them today, it's, like, well, for one, I miss them a lot, but two, again, like, I don't have to wash, like, any pump parts, I don't have to, like, sit there, and, like, ugh, it's just, it's a lot nicer, and nursing isn't hurting me as much as it was, and I'm going on almost, what, like, two and a half, three months, and it just stopped hurting you guys. The Moochie girl is now fed, she's changed, Looking just like her mommy. Hi, twin. Yeah, I love this girl. Too much. Okay, she does not like to be held like this. She does not like to be held like this. Okay, okay. She wants to see the world, y'all. There you go. I'm sorry. She said, mommy, I'm not a baby. Don't want me like a baby. Hi, twin. Hi, twin. We're the real twins, huh? Happy birthday, Daddy. Happy birthday, Daddy. We're gonna sing him happy birthday. Hi, birthday boy. Not yet. Still a couple more hours. Two more hours and I'm my birthday in Ohio. True. And you were born, Mel was born at 2.42 p.m. I remember I asked your mom. 2.42. Mm -hmm. In Columbus, Ohio. So it'll be 11.42 here. I was gonna kiss your chin and then kiss me. I like your hair a lot, babe. Show them your little little bun in the back. And I can put it in a bun. Mm. <laughs> I can put it in a bun. I don't know if I want to take it out or not. Your bun? Why? Mm. It's cute. When she asked me how I wanted it, and she said she would put it in a bun just in case. And I can put it in a bun. It's so cute. Hello guys, good morning. Today is Mel's birthday and it didn't really go as planned this morning. I was planning on waking him up. I was gonna go to Starbucks. Like I was gonna wake up with Vaughn, get Vaughn ready for school early. We were gonna go get him Starbucks, bring it back, wake him up with it. But I swear, when you have a plan like that, it never falls through. And it's just Mel's luck that Vaughn was just on one this morning. Like it was like the most chaotic energy I've ever seen him this morning. It's like he knew that I had like this plan and he was like, nope, that is not happening. So, I mean, again, I don't want to go into too much detail, but just know that mom was not in a good mood. So that did not fall through. And then both the babies, usually they stay asleep until like 8, 9 a.m. I honestly can't remember which twin woke up, but one of them like woke up. So I'm just like, yep, that did not work out. I was going to have Mel sleep in and get him coffee. Nope, Mel was up at 7 a.m. Mel's the type of person, once he wakes up, he can't go back to sleep. Like me, I can wake up and go back to sleep. He can't do that, so he was up, but luckily I scheduled him a massage, a much needed massage at 10 a.m. and that's what he went to go do. He dropped off on at school and he's driving straight to go get his massage. So at least I had that planned out for him. Like I could have easily filmed another morning, me going out to like buy him coffee and wake him up that way. But realistically, we just had twins a few months ago. We have three kids, like, I want things to be authentic and real for you guys and that didn't work out for us this morning. So, but we still have some really fun activities planned for today. So Mel doesn't know what we're doing today. He does know that we are celebrating his birthday and that we are going to be meeting up with his friends, but he does not know what the activities will consist of. So I planned him a cooking class and we were at the mall the other day and we walked by this um, 
cookware store. It's called Sur La Table. We walk by and I see this advertisement for cooking classes that they have. And I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I wonder if they have private cooking classes, like one where you can rent it out and just have like you and your friends go. So I called them up and they do have that. And I was so excited. So I went ahead and booked us a cooking class and I got to pick from the menu and I picked the handmade pasta class. And I picked a cooking class because Mel has been telling me that he wants to get more into cooking. He even told me if he was to ever go back to school, he would choose culinary school. So he's just been super into cooking lately. Like even in the house, he's been cooking more. So I just thought that'd be such a fun thing to do with all of our friends and also making handmade pasta. Like I've never made pasta from scratch before. So I'm really excited to see that process. So we're gonna be doing that. And that's like a two hour class. And then afterwards we are planning to come back to the house. We're gonna be having a movie night. So I have Elegancia, the same people who did our baby shower for Kayvon and the twins. They're gonna be coming while we're at the cooking class and putting a tent outside and setting us up like a projector movie and like cheese plates and like you know just a really cozy setup for us to all hang out and watch a movie later so that is the plan i have cynthia on her way over here to do my hair i want to do like this super long braid and i have to get ready real quick i'm gonna go ahead and do my own makeup and yeah we'll see you guys later here's our outfits wearing this dress from realization bar yes i have mink pants this I just got from Zara today. This is also from Zara. So guys, the birthday boy is heading to the first activity of the night. Mm. So obviously he's driving. I'm always just gonna be a passenger princess. Yeah. <laughs> so after I told you where to drive to, like what are your ideas on what we're about to do? Do you have like an idea? I have no idea at all. You have absolutely no idea? So we drove to like our go-to like mall. So yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> so yeah, we're about to park. And guys, leave it to LA. Literally every single person is running late. <laughs> so I thought you would like do an entrance, but you're going to be the first one entering. <laughs> well, that's LA for you. It's so. surprising for us. Because we're usually the late. It's, it's our karma for mm. being late to everything. This is our karma. Your karma. I'll be ready. Per usual. Whatever. Ah, what? Want to tell yeah. them where we are? Taking a cooking class? Yeah. It's exciting. What are we making? I got his apron on. Just finished the cooking class. How you feel, babe? I feel good. I feel I feel official. Like I was just on chopped. Did you like and it? And we won. Did you like it? Yeah, it was delicious. You know I'm about to be making pasta at the crib. I'm gonna come home with a what's that store? Where we get the liquor set? Williams Sonoma. I'm gonna come home with a Williams Sonoma bag with a pasta maker in there. Oh, babe, don't talk about that competition right now. This is yeah. Sir La Table. You gotta bring um, a Sir La Table. But... Yeah, I'll go here too. I'm about to use so you get a 10% like coupon if you're like part of the class. I was like, I'm about to get a pasta maker. Like literally, like the baby shower two years ago. Oh, like it's cold. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna fly away. Oh, the guy they struggling. Since four o'clock, yeah. Oh my god, that was very hard. That was cool. I mean, I saw you after school. What were you doing? You been playing? Yeah.
love you. This is for Danny. Danny got this him is some for gifts. Or yeah, Aria. Kai. And this for Aria. And this is for Aria. And this one for Kai. Oh, from Costa Rica. Aww. Costa Rica. You like it? Costa Rica? What's this? Is this Look, is this a turtle? Here, I'll take the trash. I'll take the trash. Look, what is this? Hey, you guys, so Baba pulled up. Baba pulled up my big fat Greek wedding today, okay? He says to me, Danny, I make kebab if you're hungry. I said, Baba, I can't eat kebab. I don't eat meat. And he said, no, 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 I made chicken. I said, Baba, I don't eat meat. He said, yeah, I made chicken. I said, Baba, I don't eat chicken. <laughs> Baba can't fathom how I'm you don't sorry. eat meat. No. Is it you don't eat sorry. no meat? Yeah, I if I know, meat, I, I keep some. <laughs> keep some salmon for her. No. I got salmon. Got Auntie Kayla and Uncle Justice. Yes. Aww. Um, Y'all look good with I some look. twins. Y'all need to have twins. I, I think we may have twins one day. Really? Do you guys have it on your family? On his side. Oh, yeah. really? Yes. Yeah. You were so beautiful when I first saw you. Look, I love how she holds her. Uh -huh. <laughs> guys, Vaughn has been dancing. Uh, be careful, my bow and bow. I know, I'm all like, be careful, be careful. Be careful, be careful. We are about to sing now. Happy birthday. Oh, what's up, y'all? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday, dear Mel. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you. Hello guys, welcome back. Today is a really special day because it is my mama's birthday. So right now, you guys can tell by the puff ball on my head, we are about to go get blowouts. So mama, today is her birthday, like I mentioned. So she got passenger princess privileges. I dropped her off right at the door of Dry Bar while I went and found parking just because it's in like a mall. So you have to like park in the garage and walk. So I was like, mama doesn't need to walk today. She can get dropped off right in the front. So she's in there right now. I'm about to go ahead and get my blowout. But I have a surprise for her when she gets back to the house. I have Sky Balloon Bar coming and leaving a beautiful bouquet of balloons for her to take pictures with. That's why I was like, mama, let's go get our hair done. And then next week, so today's Wednesday. So next Wednesday, we're all gonna be going to Disneyland as a family. Yasmin is also in town. She flew in for Mel's birthday yesterday and to celebrate mama's birthday and Thanksgiving. We're all gonna be going to Disneyland. Mama, Baba, Yasmin, Mel, Kayvon, the twins, we're all going to Disneyland next week. So you guys know now with Disneyland, you have to like reserve like tickets you can't just go like any day you want anymore so i went and checked on the website and the next available day for disneyland like there was california adventure but we don't want to go on roller coasters and stuff so for us to go to like actual disneyland the next available day is next wednesday unfortunately but we're probably just gonna all go out to dinner tonight so yeah enough with me talking let me go walk over and get our blowouts Okay, Mama. Mama got her hair done. But you did curls. You did blowout yeah. and curls? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they did like some big barrel curls in there for her. Looks so pretty, Mom. Aw, so beautiful. Maybe two is bad day, windy day. I'm trying to tell Mama wind is good for hair. 
Like you don't see in like photo shoots, they put the blow dryer yeah. on you so your hair is like... Mm. Oh, you look so pretty, mom. I got it from my mama, huh? One second, please. You want caramel yeah, macchiato? Want the, okay. White chocolate. white chocolate or caramel macchiato? There's Ooh. white chocolate mocha or caramel macchiato? Caramel. Okay. 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 Um, can I please have a grande car uh, caramel macchiato, please? Grande caramel macchiato. Hot, please. And then I'll do an iced um, I'll do an iced pumpkin. Is there like a pumpkin spice cold brew? I think. Yeah, we have that. Yeah, the grande, please. Grande size. Okay, anything else? And can I add like a shot of espresso to that? Okay. Thank you. Guys, I'm so weak. Mama just called my drink. She said the spicy pumpkin. <laughs> the pumpkin spice. I'm always gonna be like, can I get the spicy pumpkin? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think of our blowouts, y'all? You look good with like hair. We've never, you know, Mama has never like dyed her hair. Never, she just touches yeah. up like her roots. Like, you know, I, I think you'd look good. We'd be yeah. twins mm -hmm. next time. Mm -hmm. Next part of the day. You know, they have to put bleach in your hair. Oh, That's my hair. This so Mama has virgin hair. Yeah. Because we're virgins, right, Ma? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when I do my hair. My face is itching. I know, because the hair, yeah, because the hair like sticks to us. Um, thank you. Great, thank you. Sure? They don't have the sleeve, but it's not super hot. It's super. It's super nice. Starbucks, how no lead? Yeah, because they're booked in busy. When we had the restaurant, Baba said, don't tell the customer we have this, not that, that, that. Why? I don't know. I like your hair side part. Baba likes to like this on the no, side, no, too. No, no, no. Wow. You're so pretty, by the way. Me and my mom were talking about it. <laughs> Guys, always com if you're complimenting someone, I always do that. I'm like, she's so pretty. I'm like, why don't I tell her? Because it will make her? someone's day. Yeah, it will make someone's day. She said, thank she's you, you're pretty too. Yeah, she's, she's now we go home. So KK, see the baby. So KK can wish KK. you, can sing to you happy birthday with his beautiful voice. Oh, car coming. Okay. <laughs> We're now out for Mama's birthday dinner. She chose hibachi. Hibachi is so, KK's favorite. Yes, yeah, she chose KK's favorite. Baba isn't here with us because he stayed home with the twins. So it's just us. Yasmin's in from Miami. So really excited. Oh, it's right here, guys. You want to give him that one? Oh, oh. There you go. Uh, too slow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, look, look at the heartbeat. Josh and I got the filet mignon plate. Mama got shrimp shrimp. Now got chicken and yakisoba noodles, right? How is it, Mama? Guys, I was telling Mom she looks so good with the side part. So pretty. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. 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 Make a wish. Uh, <laughs> Okay, okay, wait, wait. This for you. Wait, for me, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. One, two. Mm. Cold. You can't be cold on your birthday, mom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the universe to turn it off. <laughs> so we just left the box here. Welcome, mom. Thank you for everything. I love you so much. An auntie. Kayvon has been obsessed with his auntie today. 
I told Yasmin that Vaughn is gonna be her height in like the eighth, not the eighth grade, the fourth grade. <laughs> Guys, we're checking on Baba on the ring camera. Look at him right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is Baba's babysitting if anybody needs him. <laughs> no, he's oh, here, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Baba? Baba? No, he looks, he knows, he hears something, but he ignores it. <laughs> he's ignoring it. <laughs> Baba! I think he thinks that he's hallucinating. <laughs> he's trying to ignore it.